Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Lenny, and today we're going to be starting our playthrough of Fallout 4. So, um, yeah, I don't... <laughs> I, it's my first real intro. Um, so we're going to get started on making our character and start playing um, straight away. So let's get started. What is this dirty moonshine of which you speak? <laughs> Okay, we've got our character, we're going to play as Kurt Cobain, meaning we're going to be a chem addict, and that is obviously our lovely Courtney Love. So, let's continue. So we'll leave us in. Ooh, her nose. <laughs> oh well. So, for all your cleaning needs, another fine product of General Atomics International. Now let Codsworth take care of it. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. One hundred and seventy-three point five degrees Fahrenheit. Room to perfection. Well, thank you. Looks like me. Uh, mm. <sighs> what a lovely day it is outside. We have a dog. Uh, never gonna no. find that dog. No, we don't. That's that's sad. <laughs> oh, we lost our dog. Ooh, we have a nice car though. Hmm. You know, I was nervous. Nora? Really good Girl, your name is Courtney, and we all know. Nuka-Cola. Ice cold. Ew. This stuff looks so nasty. Like, uh, why would you buy steak in a box? Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A+. Plus. Looks like the milk got delivered. I do like these new um, Nuka-Cola bottles, though. They look pretty neat. You know, I'm kind of depressed that, um... The limited edition Quantum that came out in Target, um, like the employees were buying them up and stuff, so like literally no one could get any. Like people were leaving with the whole, it's probably that salesman. Uh, like you every day. the whole like stock in a cart, and there was supposed to be like limitations, like one case or one something per person, but some Targets weren't letting. Or some targets were letting people take as much as they want, and it just ended up being like rough on us. So, oh well. Good morning, Voltec. I don't know why I said rough on us, but um. Go on. Nice to find you, sir. You can't begin to know how happy Here's Tad I am Howard, to our speak with favorite you. person ever. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency. I assure you. Okay. What's so important? 
Why, nothing less than oh your God, I look so bad. Oh well. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. Uh-uh. If you'll excuse my language. Oh, your language, right? Is, it's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Uh, go away. Go away. Won't take but a moment. <laughs> to some he just ignores to it. He's like, no. In the unforeseen event of <coughs> total atomic annihilation. All right, all right, I guess. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Okay, I don't know if this is a name that Cod Codsworth will say, but oh, Jesus! But we're gonna go with that, and we're gonna give him the strength of two because he was really small. Um, perception of let's see, seven. Uh, endurance of two as well. I might raise that up if let's give him a charisma of about three. Uh, an intelligence of three. Agility's got to be high too. I want to make him like a sniper. Because I like using the rifles in this game, and the sniper rifles are great. So, and then let's give him the luck of five because luck is great in this game. Mm, you might wanna, you know, since he's not very strong, I don't think he would have high endurance anyways. Like I, <laughs> this is a game, but I'm trying to think logically with these stats as well. So, I do know we're gonna be like a big chem user too because we all know that. These folks were heroin addicts, so <laughs> let's do that. I've never played as a chem user either, so that might be a little bit exciting. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Yes, thank um, you. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price Whoa. is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my she moments. nasty. Oh, he can't say it. Has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. Great. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. So in this universe, we had a son, not a daughter. And a robot oh. to cover up for our drug addiction. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this baby does not look like us. How are the two then again, we all know Courtney people? was... Um, Send him over a bit. He loves that. Was... Uh, um, gross. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Ew. Listen, ah! After breakfast, oh, that nose is like head. indented. Butter should hold up. Uh, and do what? And do what exactly? Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Ooh, that lighting is not good for you, Courtney. Good lord. All right, let's get out of here. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, oh, confirmed geez. reports of <laughs> nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Why are you on the news? Oh, if I knew about this, I would not go to my job. I would just be like, put a PSA oh up. Oh, Jesus. We need to get to the vault. I immediately now. get like 10 times some. faster. Let's go. I apologize if I sound tired, by the way, because I got up from a nap. School was a little bit insane today. Uh, I've been home for a majority of the day because, you know, we're great, and we had a little bit of a bomb threat this morning. So... The school evacuated and we all got to go home. <laughs> yeah, like before school started, um, I'll wait till this gets a little bit less insane to explain. You're really, you're gonna waste minigun ammo on him? Are you kidding me? Is that the mysterious stranger? 
Yeah, exactly. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Yep, thank you. Okay, okay oh my god, let me go. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? We well, I think they use some of the same um, voice actors from Skyrim because he sounds very familiar. But see, that guy sounds like really familiar. I don't know who it was. Well, there's probably a lot of people, but almost there. We're gonna be okay. I'll explain when we I get down you. in the vault. Both of you. We love you Not too. the Skyrim thing, but oh the God. bomb threat, which is kind of funny because we're playing Fallout today, so. <laughs> It was pretty crazy though, like, uh, before school started, I was standing with like a few people and then all of a sudden one of the teachers was like, we need to get um, we did it. out in front of the school. It. Like, she starts evacuating mm -hmm. everyone from the, um, everyone please the cafeteria the and like everywhere. Up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. And so... A better future underground. So we just Thank you. So, um... After we get out there, a lot of people are like, great, there's probably a school shooter, but then again, why the heck would they have us out? Like, why would they have us go out in front of the school in a big group? So... Uh, thanks. So we were like, okay, probably not that. People were saying, like, um... They were just saying a lot of things, like they didn't know what was happening, and then eventually they moved us out to the football field, and we were like, uh... And they were all telling us, like, everything's fine, everything's fine, and they wouldn't tell us what's going on. Some people didn't even know. And eventually we get word that it's a bomb threat, and we're like, oh, great. So, we're not really sure what it, it like, what the threat was about, like, if it was from, like, ISIS or whatever. Or if it was just a kid being a freaking psychopath, but yeah, it was pretty, cr it was pretty crazy. Like, who's my little guy? Yeah. I'm not going far. So, kids started jumping the fence and getting really crazy and yelling at parents who were telling them to stop because they were making things worse. And yeah, they were pretty. Everyone was pretty scared, and then parents started coming through the gates, and they started letting us through. My mom came, and then she stayed to help because, dude, our our staff was like being really dumb about it. Like, there were big crowds of students, and then big crowds of parents on the side, like yelling, like giving my kid basically. And then my mom was like, uh, she told me that she had them get in three lines, like the students, and then they had the parents get in a line and come to the gate and then tell us the kid's name. And then they would call for the kid and the kid would come down the aisle between the, t the three lines. So, yeah, it ended up working out just fine. And it was faster than it would have been if they would have just kept crowding. I waited in the car, I was freezing, I waited in the car for like half an hour probably. And I finally got to go home, and then I took a nap immediately because I was tired. Maybe like an hour after I got home, I ate, and then I took a nap, and I was... It was... Yeah. These things sketch me out. Like, they was, would sketch me out if I were these people, because there's, like, water dripping, and it's, it seems really cold with all this fog and stuff. Like, this is obviously not a decon uh, decontamination pod. Well, obviously not now, but... Just look, upon looking at it, I would just be like, mm, I don't think so. Because usually they spray you with stuff. Or they, um, yeah. I mean, the, the pressure chambers are usually rooms, too, not just little pods, but I don't know. The technology might be different in this. Well, obviously it is, but, um, just, I don't know. It just seems sketchy. And now here we are. Why is everything blue? This is the one. 
place. <laughs> Give me my son. <coughs> Don't touch my wife, Courtney. Please. I kind of love her, I guess. It's more my son that I care about. No, you don't. Oh, God. Uh, well, we have a son, and our wife dies this time, not us. So, uh, that, that's... Uh, get out of my face. Great. So yeah, America's neat <coughs> with our uh, school shootings and bomb threats and such. You know, it's weird because not too long ago, I mean, yesterday there was another, there was something else. It was like three gunmen and they shot like 20 people and apparently 14 of them died. But yeah, so there was something else yesterday and you know, you, you, you see it on the news and you're like, mm, you know, that's not gonna happen, and then it does to you, and it's, I'm, I'm so glad it was a bomb threat and not a friggin' shooting, because that would have been horrifying. That would have, that would have been even harder to control, probably. Well, obviously, they would have had no control. Kids would have leave, left anyways, like, they would have been jumping the fence, running, they would have not corralled us in the, in the parking lot and stuff either, in the football field. Kids were going to their cars and leaving, though, and, um, if our parents wouldn't have come, our, my friends and I, we were like, okay, we have three cars, we have eight people, two of our friends had ch like two seaters, and one had a three seater. No. One had a three seater, one had a two seater, and the other one had um, like a normal car. So we were like, all right, we could get out of here just fine if we really needed to. Come I'm on, just. Come on, come on. Oh, God! I'm just ignoring my wife <laughs> explaining what happened to us today. It's pretty weird. I'll find who did this. Ooh. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Good night. Okay, time to go. So enough about that. Let's enjoy this game. And enjoy the fact that I get to play it at... Well, it's 3 o'clock now, but... That I get to play it during the... I usually get home at 6. I'm in, like, this musical thing, and I hate my life because of it. But... Hey, you know, being involved. Oh god, I saw that. I'm glad I picked that up. I didn't even... Dude, it's like instinct. Like, I... I didn't even really acknowledge that it was there. I was just like, oh, there's something I can pick up. I'm taking it immediately. Uh, okay. Nothing's dying. Okay. Oh! Let's see. Security logs. Let's see the last entry. No all clear from Vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I murdered Stanley for dropping a damn... Oh, I almost murdered Stanley. I was like, Jesus. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us were confronted... Oh, Oh, a handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Damn. That's sad. Time to get our sneak on. Because I will do that a lot, because this is what I do in this game. Oh, lovely. It doesn't even know. Oh, shit. Well, it did, but oh well. I'm really Giant big on taking... Roaches? What the hell? I'm pretty big on taking meat and stuff and cooking it because it gets rid of the rads and it's just really useful when you don't want to waste a stim pack on something. And, like, the bigger the animal, the bigger... Like, the more HP it gives you, so that's always nice as well. Let's look at this holotape. Oh 
see your memo. Oh, so this is like... Oh, the Red Menace. <laughs> oh my god. You know, it's kind of funny that... This is probably like a kid's game. <laughs> it's kind of horrible when you think about it. That power armor gimmick. Oh, I can't go up. Oh, are you shitting me? I was like, can I jump? Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow, I'm so good at this game. Cool. No, I'm not doing that again. But we're gonna take it. Because I like taking that kind of stuff. It's neat. Alright, let's see if there is actually anything in here. Oh, I was like, oh. I always, every time I see a bottle or anything on the floor, I'm like, Nuka Cola? Is that Nuka Cola? Can I have that Nuka Cola? But <laughs> usually isn't. Or it's empty, and I'm like, great. Are any of these? Nope. But yeah, I'm big on taking meat and stuff because I like to cook in this game because it per it's extremely it's extremely useful. Okay, let's see if we can actually like it's making its angry noise. Come here. Give me that. Okay. There's a big one over there. It can't even- oh god, I was like, it can't even see me! What happened here? Where is everyone? Jeez. That would probably be horrifying, honestly, seeing stuff like this, like... <sighs> I mean, it seems like it's just been not that long. Come here. Come here- oh god. All of those are mine. Is this all that's left? Is this the overseer? And he ended up dying. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Wow, I <laughs> I'm very f yeah, okay, whatever. Mm, we might we'll take those for the perception at the moment. I'll put them on when I get the bit boy. Cuz I am bad at the okay, cry later. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable, on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time where we wait for the all-clear signal. Let's see the instructions. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Overseer, overseer eyes only. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of the suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. <laughs> Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech technicians. Under no circumstance, is suspension to be disru uh, disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Wow. Your stuff is also considered expendable. In subordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for uh, cadaver uh, disposal. Okay. Let's see his... Mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding that they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well then that's for your mouths to feed. Wow. Dude. I don't know how long that was. Probably a couple years, maybe, but damn, like, hey, would you rather starve to death, or just, you could, 
well, they don't know about ghouls, but they might have become ghouls over time, or I don't know. But Jesus. Forcing people? Like, hey, he could have let them go and then shut the tunnel, so nothing could. I'm gonna sell that later. And here's the nice. cry later. Coming back later for you. But he could have, like, you know, shut the tunnel so that the irradiation can get into here. I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, of how he could have maybe saved his people, but who knows. Did he kill himself, though? Like, oh god, I messed- I, like, stepped on his body. Well, he's got no hole, but we don't know. He might have killed himself, considering there was a 9mm on his desk. Or 10mm. Oh yeah, oops. <laughs> the whole point of using that freaking terminal was to turn that off la turn that on, or open that up, whatever. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm like, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 reading the things that are not mandatory, aha. Uh -huh. And then, whoa. Whoa, did they kill- wait. They might have killed him. Now that I think about it, because there's a bunch of bullets. There's a bunch of, like bullet holes and there's two on the wall too so I don't think he would have killed himself with there's some over here too I don't know that might not those might not even be bullet holes but whatever I like that the meat doesn't- I can't even look at it right now, but the meat doesn't really take up that much space, so you can basically have as much as you want, and when you cook it, it's even less. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Oh, Jesus. Are these even like bullet holes? Like, I don't understand. They might have just killed these people to get out, though. That could be it. Who knows? Or they could have been irradiated to death. We don't know. Oh, there's ammo right here, though. Mm. That's why I put my luck up. I don't know if that's always there, but hey. I like to think that my skills are being put to good use. Give me that pit boy. I really like the new pit boy, like it looks pretty cool. For Halloween I was like half ghoul. I was like turning into a ghoul basically and I was uh it was pretty neat. I had my own pit boy but it was with the new Vegas one. And it, I just put my phone in it and stuff, it was 3D printed. And then I had like a, uh, the NCR hat, but it wasn't like the ugly, like weird, I don't, I don't know the term for that hat. It was like a, uh, a wide brim fedora with the, uh, um, flight goggles, aviator goggles over it. And then like, let's put on those glasses. Um. See, 13, and then, it's only a lot, yeah, like, it doesn't, I don't think they weigh, they weigh point one. so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I had, like, knee pads, I had, one of my knee pads had, like, the caution, red and black, uh, red and black, are you kidding me, yellow and black stripes, and then I had, um, a death claw painted on the other one, um, I had a NCR jacket that had the New California Republic patch, and then I had a leather jacket over it with one of the sleeves torn off so you could see the NCR jacket underneath. And then um, it was a Caesar's Legion jacket, or Kaiser's Legion, whatever you want to say. 
I had that, and it I had um, painted the bowl on the back, and it actually looked really good. Like I was pretty surprised. I had some crazy ass special effects makeup on that I did myself, with a bunch of latex and stuff. That was pretty fun, but near the end of the day, I was like dying because I wanted to take it off so freaking bad. But yeah, a lot of people, people that I didn't even like, yeah, you would never think they were even like, wow, that's so cool. And I was like, thanks. The hype was so real. Like, I was so ready for that. I had been planning that for like all, since the Halloween before. The Halloween before that, I was Laura Croft from the, uh, the game, uh, the, the newer one, not the newest now because there's another one that just came out, but the, the newer one at the time, the one where she's on the island, I don't know, it's just Tomb Raider, I'm pretty sure, but whatever. This door, you could upgrade to this door in, a uh, Fallout Shelter, which is neat. Oh god. Okay. Anything for me? This music is so loud. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah, I'll just turn down the master in general. Because, wow, that was like. It was hard to talk with, like, the theme playing in the background. Let's see if, um. Yeah, is there anything we can do? Like extras? Do they add more? Uh, yeah, I kept those. What was this? Like, I want to see if they added anything new so I don't have to, like, get freaking plastic surgery later on or something. Nope. Nothing. Now that I think about it, though, like, would I really have anything? Like, color. Can you add anything? Nope. Now yeah, we're done. I don't want to change anything about him. Why do I have sunglasses on? What the heck? I thought I had <laughs> normal glasses. What? Did I pick up sunglasses? That was weird. <laughs> it was like, deal with it all of a sudden. Jesus. It was like... I was like, I don't want to have to pay for plastic surgery later on, and I was like, deal with it. God, that's so, that's so cringy, I can't believe I just said that. Ugh. Here I am, 